Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore. Welcome back to the series. I have done a little bit of stuff off camera and I'm currently still in the process of doing stuff off camera. Well, I guess I'm now on camera. Anyway, you get the point. Um, I have added iron frames on all of these chests. Plus I have added an extra row up here because things were getting a little bit crowded. Um, so now I can easier identify what is what. Um, and I'm also in the process of smelting, that's the wrong test, smelting all of our raw resources here. So that is going to be really good. We were running quite low on iron, so now I'm smelting all of that. Cooking up all the food as well. Hoping to maybe get my levels up to level 30 potentially. That would be pretty epic. Also, I do not know where that zombie is. There's a zombie right around here, and I want to bust open a hole to that today because I am going you know what we're doing it right now we are doing it right now silly me I forgot to have my 3d my vanilla tweaks thing enabled anyway I I'm going crazy I oh well, that was easy that was easy was that a creeper nope okay eh anything green triggers me okay ow 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 oh I do not have water oh that is that could be bad. I need water. I I need I need water. It, it, I can't speak. All right. Well, let's check this place out um, very carefully. Okay. It looks looks pretty. Okay. Okay. That wasn't. Oh. Wait. What? Wait. Have I been here? There's a geo down there. Ooh, okay. That fall could have been deadly. Were we down here last episode? We might have been. Well, there's a geo right there. That's something to remember. That is definitely something to um, to remember. You know what? I am going to take four of these. I'm going to make it into polished granite and do that. May look weird, but now I remember that that is there for now anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we are on 29 levels. I would love to re-enchant my diamond pickaxe. I also need to re-enchant my diamond pl chest plate, but I think the diamond pickaxe is what will be used the most. It does have unbreaking though. This is pretty good as it is. I want to get better enchantments on this, so I think I'm gonna grindstone it. And that didn't give me a lot of levels. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna keep smelting some stuff here. Um, and yeah, then, then I'll be back. <laughs> All right, we have 30 levels now. Now I just need three levels of Zulai, and let us hope that the enchantments are promising. Okay, it says already three, but I have a feeling we're gonna get something more than that. So let's go for it. That's much better. Unbreaking three and efficiency four. That is a whole lot better <laughs> than what we had previously. Um, I think I'm gonna set this furnace to cook some raw copper as well as this one when the steak is done. And then we can head upstairs up to the surface and we can begin some of the projects. I have a few things that I want to do today, but we can begin the first thing when we get up there. I do actually want to make a spyglass real quick because I haven't done that yet. So here we go, spyglass, plus up to find zoom, and we can see every detail of those two pixels. <laughs> <laughs> well, four, there's four there. Anyway, you get the point. All right, let us head upstairs. I think I'm just gonna let this melt. All of this seems to be pretty busy. So yeah, let's head upstairs unless it is turning nighttime. Nope, we're good. All right. All right, here we are. Looks like I need to harvest my trees as well. But anyways, that's not why we're here. We are here because it was suggested that I build a perimeter wall around my base. And I think that that is an excellent idea because this place can be quite dangerous and the last thing that I want to happen is me coming up the stairs and then being ambushed by a creeper and dying. That would be horrible. So, um, I'm not going to build the actual wall just yet. I'm going to remove some of this terrain here. I'm gonna lower it down a little bit, especially over there with my new pickaxe with efficiency four. And I'm going to mark out with, uh, I'm gonna get some more wood and I'm gonna mark it out with that. I have no idea how I'm going to actually make the wall. I could just place down a fence, but I feel like that that might be a little bit too boring. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But first, time to ask Grace on this ground thing. I can't speak. Let's get to it.
All right, that is quite a lot of area I have made flat. Now, it is time that we choose at least I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do like corners and then we'll do, just see how it goes. So I'm thinking like over here, I want a pretty significant area. I want a pretty, like pretty okay big area, but I don't want it to be too big either. And I don't know what to do over here actually, because I do want to ex potentially expand in this area. So I might even have to push back this a little bit further. Um, so I think I'm gonna do this. Now the portal of course is here, but I don't think I'm going to include that in the wall. I think I'll just make a gate or something. And looks like this is actually pretty much it. Now again, I have no idea how I'm going to make the wall. I could just pretty much put a fence down, but that is a little bit eh. That's not, that's not as as cool. So I, I'll try and figure something out. Um, but anyways, that is that done. I now have the foundation for it and I can begin, hopefully, we can begin in the next episode. Look at all these resources. We have quite a lot of, well, everything. We need to figure out what to do with it all. Um, but I do want to actually do something here. I am thinking that it could be very cool if we somehow potentially incorporated this cave into our, what's that? <gasps> That's a that's a that's an axolotl. What is that doing down here? That's an axolotl. Hey buddy. Hey buddy, get in this bucket. Get Yes! We got it! Bucket of axolotl! <laughs> I did not expect to get an axolotl in a bucket this episode, but okay. That's here now. Well what's up here then? What even is this? Dead end. Huh. It must have spawned in one of these pockets or something. Okay, that's cool. I didn't, as I said, didn't expect that to happen, but now we have a little axolotl friend. Okay, um, that's cool. We'll need to figure out what to do with that. <laughs> but yeah, I was just thinking, I don't know what on earth I'm going to use this for, but I'm just thinking that this is a pretty nice area that we could potentially do something in, but I want to make sure that it is... 100% spawn proof and I want to block off certain areas like this is getting kind of cave-ish So maybe block it off make sure nothing evil can uh, can get through and into the space So I think that is what we're going to do. All right I think that could work the ceiling doesn't really matter and yeah, I'll just have to be careful now question is what blocks should I use to block areas off? Uh, I might as well let's use basalt Let's use basalt, because why not? I don't necessarily want to block it off completely. I just want to seal it off so nothing like creepers or something can get through. That is really my intention here. So down here, I think we will literally just do this. And one more. <laughs> Can't be too safe. There we go, and we actually have a zombie over here, so now we can test it if he finds another way around. Are you gonna do that? No, you're not. You're a zombie, you don't have a brain. Right. I think that is everything that is a danger to us, completely blocked off. Now, I'm not going to risk it and just say, you know what, it's 100% safe now. I'm gonna give it a time, a little bit, to see if maybe a creeper spawns somewhere or something. So I'm gonna keep an eye on it. If you have any ideas for what we can use this space for, please do put them down below in the comments. That would be really appreciated, um, because this is a huge area. We could maybe put a smelter or something, or some sort of auto farms or something. We can put a lot of stuff down here. So yeah, suggestions are very welcome. I know what we should do in that place. We should dedicate an area to make an aquarium and make an aquarium of hoxadoddles. That's one thing we should do. Add that to the to-do list. Add that to the to-do list. Um, but I, I just thought of something. I think I'm actually going to do a little bit of work. Oh boy. Oh yeah, yeah, see this is, ow. See, this is the issue. Look at all these guys. This is not ideal for a hardcore player. <laughs> This is not ideal at all, but I think um, I think I am going to maybe do a little bit of work on the wall Okay. Because um, I think I have an idea on what I'm going to do so I think Wherever the wall needs to go. I will be digging down one block and Then in the next episode we can continue the rest of the wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that 
So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So uh, yeah, enjoy that time lapse. All right, that should be good enough for now. We will continue this in the next episode. One other thing that I thought of as well is that I need to find a way of getting totems of undying because if a creeper sneaks up behind me and I'm not quick enough with the shield, a totem of undying can really save my life. So that is definitely something I will be looking into and that we will be doing very, very soon. I also have another project in mind regarding this area, but I'm not going to share it right now. I'm going to keep it a secret um, until I am ready. One thing to remember as well is that we are in 1.17 now, so I need to go find some moss and some shipwrecks, um, if we can even find some of those. So that is some opportunity for some adventure in one of the directions we have not been to yet. We still have a lot of stuff to do in this series, so if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe and leave a like on the video if you are enjoying it, um, and enable those notifications to not miss an upload. But for now, uh, I want to do one final thing before calling it an episode, and that is actually regarding the villagers. I have not done anything with villagers properly, so I want to do that this series. I want to set up a villager trading hall thingy, thingamabob. I've never done it before, as I said, um, so this is going to be brand new for me. But I want to head on over to the village and make sure that we have the villagers secured, because I want to do that fairly soon as well. I would like mending on my stuff, you know, so, so it doesn't just break, so that is definitely something that I want to do. Also need to make the spider spawner look a lot better. So, as I said, a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> All right, here is the village. Now, am I prepared? No. Do I know what I need to do? Uh, no. But I'm thinking of just pretty much putting all the villagers in the same house, if doable. I could also, do actually, a hole in the ground might be even easier, now that I think about it. But let, let's see, let's, uh, let, let's see, where are there some villagers? Okay, these two houses are completely, well, gone. Ho hopefully there's still some around. Where is everyone? Now that I think about it, this village is very quiet. Okay, there's an iron golem. But where, where are the villagers? Oh, okay. At least one of you is alive. Okay, did, did I leave anything? Oh, I did actually. Hmm, I'll take those. Um, okay. <laughs> right, get get in a boat. Get, get, it, it, this is how you do it, right? Get in a boat. Get, no, no. Sir. Get in. Good. You? Okay, I need I need a lot of boats. Hello, guys. Okay, we actually do have quite a lot here. Well, I could use one of these houses as the staging house, actually. So, you know what? I'm actually, I'm actually going to do that. Let me do some preparation work here. I think I'm going to use this library as a staging area for the villagers until I am ready for them. Um, which means I will need to... Of course, remove the doors, lock it up, board it up, and then I need to make a bunch of boats. Probably not 12, but I'm gonna make like six maybe, should do the trick for now. Okay, so I have this guy. So then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bust open this. Sun is going down. Okay, so if I get in here, right? Oh, are you kidding me? This little, that little piece right there of stuff can't... Okay, paths are officially my worst en en enemy. Wow, okay. I, I seriously need to make new paths for this to work. Oh, I just realized. Oh, no. Okay, well, paths, paths are terrible. Okay, you... Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not what I... Okay. Uh... Right. Okay, everything is going to horribly... Horrib Everything is going very wrong. Let me, let me sleep before something bad happens. Okay, I'm not gonna need a regeneration potion, so you take that. Um, okay, okay, okay. I, I can fix this. Don't worry, I can fix this. I got this. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna get into this. And... Okay, we should be good. Wait, is he just following? He's following. Okay. I mean, sure, buddy. Keep going. Keep going. Gonna 
attack this guy here. We're just, we're just gonna make a. Yep, perfect. Need to turn around. <laughs> I'm just gonna make a trail of boats here, and hopefully this will work. I'm gonna pack this guy here. <laughs> I love how I'm just doing parking with these guys. Okay, you, sir. Okay, we're gonna try this again, buddy. We're gonna try this again, and you can go. You know what? I think we can actually put you in here. Yep, that works perfectly. How many do we have? One, two, three, four. I could just not take the whole city population. Are these two the only ones left? Um, no, there's some over here. I think the four should be. Well, I do want to probably set up a villager breeder, don't I? I mean, this guy, he he just went in voluntarily. A lot of them seem to just to just want in. Do you know what? That that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Now, don't worry. I will make a villager breeder. And that is... Are they working here? I think this guy's literally working while on the boat. I'm going to make a villager breeder and eventually we can repopulate this town. Make it look nice with better paths, better better stuff. And we, we can make the village look good again, right? Right. I think that... I think this guy is the last one. This is not good. You know what? Maybe he wants to join his friends. You know what? I'm sure he wants... I'm sure this guy wants to... Okay, well... Go... No. You know what? He's being so stubborn. I'm gonna let him go. <laughs> I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna let him go. Alright, so I'm going to block off this. Just using dirt so I can easily get in. And I will be back for these guys. Um, I don't think a zombie or anything can spawn there. Uh, let's just make sure. All right, I will come back to these guys and we will set up a villager breeder, villager cloner. Let's call it a cloner, villager cloner. Uh, I'm, go I'm gonna call it a villager cloner because that sounds more interesting. Okay, that guy is not alone, so maybe, okay, maybe the village will grow because of this. Who knows? <laughs> Anyways, the villagers are there. I'll come back for them another time. Let us now go home. I think our job here is done. You know what, guys? I think I'm actually going to end this episode here in the spider spawn. I'm gonna kill some of them, get a bunch of levels, and hopefully we can do some enchanting in the next episode as well. In the next episode, I want to start building the wall, and as I said, I need a way of getting totems of undying. Um, so we're either gonna do that or something with the villagers. I haven't fully decided yet, um, but stay tuned for the next episode. As I've said, we have a lot of stuff to do, so definitely stay tuned. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Oh, oh, hello. Uh, there we go. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye.